Today we'll be looking at what drainage density is and factors that influence drainage density. What is drainage density? It is the length of all rivers and streams in a river system in ratio to the area that these rivers drain. So the formula is drainage density is equal to the total length of all streams in a drainage basin in kilometers divided by the total area of the drainage basin in square kilometers. It is used to compare the drainage basins. So you get four drainage densities. You get low density, medium density, high density, and very high density. How does it influence drainage density? So if you remember, I did a video with the factors influencing infiltration. Now basically, these factors are very similar, but you can almost say that they are opposite. Because remember, Drainage density shows the water that is on the surface, and infiltration is the water that's below the surface. So if you say that an area has a high drainage density, that just means that there's a large amount of water on the surface, whereas a low drainage density means that there's a low amount of water on the surface. Areas with high rainfall have a higher drainage density. This is because the ground is already saturated. Steeper slopes have a higher drainage density. This is because there is less time for the water to infiltrate. Impermeable rock and clay will have a higher drainage density. This is because they do not allow the water to infiltrate. The less vegetation there is, the less infiltration, therefore higher drainage density. High evaporation lowers the amount of runoff. This leads to lower drainage density. High infiltration rates will reduce drainage density.